Now, following those missile launches, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says Washington will continue to seek a peaceful resolution. Despite the regime's provocative actions, this, while South Korea's vice foreign minister is in Washington to further discuss the North Korean issue with top U.S. officials. Eugene He reports. Appearing on Fox News on Sunday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said North Korea's latest missile launches were a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Despite the provocations, Tillerson seemed willing to extend a lifeline to the regime, saying Pyongyang could take a different path if it so chooses to resolve tensions on the Korean Peninsula. We're going to continue our, our peaceful pressure campaign, as I have described it, working with allies, working with China uh, as well to see if we can bring the uh, regime in Pyongyang to the negotiating table uh, with a view to begin a dialogue on a different future for Korean Peninsula and for North Korea. Tillerson said previously that while the U.S. prefers a diplomatic approach, it's prepared to respond with military force if necessary. He also underscored the important role of China and Russia in defusing the crisis, saying they bear unique and special responsibility for North Korea's growing threat to regional stability. Meanwhile, South Korea's first vice foreign minister, Im Sung Nam, arrived in Washington on Sunday to hold talks with senior U.S. officials on the matter. Im will meet with U.S. Deputy Secretary of State John Sullivan, among others, during his three-day visit. There will be broad discussions on the South Korea-U.S. military alliance, as well as overall bilateral relations, and we will also be conferring on issues related to North Korea's nuclear program. There are some signs that indicate tensions could be on the wane after reaching a boiling point earlier this month over the heated exchange of rhetoric between Washington and Pyongyang. North Korea has since backed down from its threat to fire missiles toward the U.S. territory of Guam, while Washington has reassured worried onlookers that war was not imminent on the Korean Peninsula. Yuzhuni, Arirang News.